Right, so today is Monday the 26th of April and first task today is we're going to um, weld this bar in place across the door um, to start the bracing process. So we will lift it up to about there I think, I think that should be okay. We will get it horizontal. We need to cut it at the back here. Um, to we need to cut it at the back here. We'll have to cut it about here to get it to fit, and um, we'll go from there. So that's what we're going to do first. <laughs> wanted to make that horizontal but um, it's not it's um, slightly higher at the back and if I take it down at the back it makes it quite low so I think we'll have to leave it like that and um, we'll weld it in there is what I think we'll do <laughs> I thought I was um, videoing myself just welding that in place but it looks like I just took a photo but that I hope is strong enough so we've got this in place and um, that's not taking too long so we can probably move around and do the same on the other side now Right, so I'm taking the um, passenger door card off before I do the welding so that there should be room to shut still. And I need to, before I do anything further, I need to mark up where the wiring goes because on the driver door side I haven't got a clue. Uh, it wasn't in, nothing was marked. So um, I'm going to go through all of that wiring and as I'm taking it off, make sure... I know what everything is. So I've just realised as I'm doing this that um, on my driver side I haven't got this mechanism which is, must be the motor for the window which then comes down and it feeds up through here yeah, so that's all goes from here feeds down and up here um, to the winder and so I don't have this mechanism on the other side either. Um, so that's something else I need to add to my shopping list. Um, cool. Okay, so we've got it welded in place on the other side as well now. I just need to decide if I want more in, so do I put a second one down below? Um, do I run something across on the diagonal um, I could I could run something from here across to this side just to keep it there what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at a few other restorations not necessarily TR7s but convertibles and see how they've done it and maybe replicate that approach um, so if, if they've got additional ones in there, then I think it would be sensible to get it in. Um, or, you know, do I put another one lower down or something like that? I don't know. So we're going to have a look at that and possibly do that bit tomorrow. Right, I've been thinking about this overnight and what I'm going to do first, just to base this a bit more, is I'm also going to put a brace across the bottom in exactly the same way. I, I, people have said put it across the door where the hinges are, but and I guess that is the um, you know from here to here is possibly stronger in terms of it's the frame, but 
it means the door's being off. And um, when I'm trying to fix these doors and these rust at the bottom, I'm going to want to be able to take them on and off and on and off. And so that's why I don't want to put it where the hinges are or anything like that. So I'm going to put another bar across the bottom on both sides and then I'm going to put a, an angled one across the two somehow. I'm not quite sure how yet, but that's what I'm going to do next. Um, we'll start on this side where it's a bit easier. And at that point I'll be more comfortable about taking the doors off. So we'll start on this side, we'll move over to the other side and then we'll see where we are. So what day is it today? It is Tuesday, I think, today. Um, and we're going to continue. angle wrong so it's going to be a bit short but I think it should still give it So I've done the bracing on both sides. I'm now trying to decide if I want some cross bracing in there as well. Now I suspect the ideal would be from the bottom there to the top here. But if I do that, I can only do it one way because they'll bang in the in between. And I don't just don't have I don't have anything to take angles and stuff, so I'm doing it by guesswork. Um, now, I, um, and so I'm just wondering if I, if I did this, would it be enough? 
And I suppose actually thinking about it, if I did this, but also with one across here, across the top here, that would keep the distance apart. And then this would stop these from flexing as well. If we put one across here, that means these stay apart. If I put one across there, that means those stay apart. It could still, in theory, if it was bolted, move. But I mean, it's welded, so it shouldn't shouldn't have any flex really at all there. Um, can't decide here. I just can't decide what to do. Um, I don't want to do bottom to top, so I'll, I'll find. I think I'll find that difficult to um, measure out properly. Been thinking about this, and my decision is I'm going to edit and put this video up tonight, and I'm hoping that people, and so it will go live in the morning, and I'm hoping that a few people will see it tomorrow morning and. Um, advise me on whether or not to, to put the um, diagonals in and if it really needs to be bottom to top or if I could um, just do it like that or if in fact what I've already done is enough. So remember this one across the bottom isn't in place and this one across the top isn't in place it's just the doors that are currently welded with that bracing. Thanks. Um, really appreciate any advice. Uh, well, um, you remember I said I didn't want to put it straight across in the door jam because I wanted to be able to shut the door so that I could um, do test fits. Well, this, it's here. I didn't think about it, so I can't shut the doors, which I've just discovered. Um, so I guess when I do test fits, I'll have to do it without any of the hardware in there, but since that's probably all got to come out anyway to fix these doors properly that's probably not such a bad thing